270 shipping containers is a large spill from, from any uh, container ship. And as you've mentioned, there's um, organic peroxide in at least three of those containers. And who knows what the long term impacts of that will be? Um, can you give us an idea, though? What, what, do you know what kind of environmental impact that could cause if they were to spill? Well, it depends. I mean, I do know that um, in that area, which incidentally is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, um, there are seal colonies. If, a undilu if undiluted, if that peroxide came ashore in an area which had high biodiversity, it could have a severe impact. And it would pose a danger to the, to the lives of the, of the uh, nature and the animals who, who, who live there on this, on this UNESCO heritage site? Undiluted, yes. I mean, there is a chance that it will um, disperse into the ocean and not have a great impact. But if, as I say, if it's undiluted, if a container spills into an area which has got important wildlife or the human <laughs> population, then um, it could have severe impacts. As you can tell, I mean, I think they got the army to, to, refu to, to take away that bag. So there are many more bags out there, and that's the problem. Um, they could be on the seabed. They could leach out over time. Um, this is a very serious concern, especially for the area, um, as I said, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There's lots of marine life there. Um, I do believe the Dutch people are doing a fantastic job. I know they're, they're not allowed, obviously should be very wary of what they're picking up, but I believe they've picked up over 200,000 kilograms already of, of, um, of trash that's come out of this. Um, it is trash now, but obviously it was somebody's goods at one stage. <laughs> Yeah, and um, so, yes, you've been saying that the people have really kind of gone behind this whole effort to clean up the beaches, but is there anything else that be, can, can be done to mitigate the potential, potentially hazardous effects of uh, this cargo spill? No. Well, for a start, they have to find it. Most mm -hmm. of those containers will sink. Um, the ones that float will come ashore. If, and hopefully this is going to be the case, the three containers containing the organic um, peroxide come ashore intact, um, that would be fantastic. They could take them away without much damage being done. But as you've seen, there's already a bag, or at least one bag um, that I know of, and I've seen online several people reporting seeing possible hazardous materials. So um, if it's split open and this is dispersed into the sea, um, it will have a negative impact. Um, it will be localised, but it will be negative.